Greetings to you wherever you are joining us from. I hope you are doing well. Happy New Week to you. Today is Monday, April 10th. And by the grace of God, it is a privilege for us to do devotion again one to another. The topic before us in today's Open Heavens devotional is the seasons of Christ. The seasons of Christ. It's quite a profound topic if you think about it for a second. But before we go into it, why don't you let us pray? Father eternal, we thank you because you are who you say you are. We thank you because you are the God of times and seasons. And times and seasons are in your hand. Father, we pray by your spirit you will unveil the truth. And you will reveal unto us that which we ought to know. Even as we go into this devotion together. Blessed be your name, O God, forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And can I just pray for you, since this is the very beginning of your week, for most of you this is the start of your work week, can I pray that God's goodness and God's mercies will follow you throughout this week and God will be kind to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let us go straight into the devotion. Like I said, the topic is Seasons of Christ. Seasons of Christ. But before we go into the Christ part of this topic, I want us to talk about the seasons first. Permit me, if you don't mind, to lay a foundation very quickly on the dimensions of seasons as laid out in scriptures. You see, nothing eludes seasons, at least on this side of eternity and time, while we are here on earth. Nothing eludes seasons. The Word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1, the Word of God says, To everything, everything, there is a season. You see right there, season. And there is a time to every purpose under heaven. Emphasis on under heaven. So when Christ came from heaven above to earth beneath, He had to be subject to the seasonal dimensions and dispensations of the earth. Why? It's a principle that cannot be broken. And God's word is forever true, cannot be broken, eternal. The Bible says in Genesis 8 and verse 22, Genesis 8 and verse 22, the word of God says, as long as the earth remaineth, so you see the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, seasons, 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 shall not cease in the land. So you see that this dimension of seasons is actually a principle that is unviolatable as long as the earth remains. So now let us look at the seasons of Christ and the anchor text of scripture for this is from the book of Matthew chapter number 28. Matthew chapter 28. This is talking about the resurrection of Christ. The resurrection of Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to read the memory verse for the sake of focus and then we're going to go into some very quick points and then by the grace of God we will let you have a blessed week. So I'm going to read the memory verse very quickly to us. Matthew 28 and verse 6. Matthew 28 and verse 6. The word of God says this. An angel speaking now. He, Jesus, is not here. For he, Jesus, is reason. Hallelujah. Just like Jesus said he will. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. In other words, the angel was saying to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, and now by extension to you and I, He, Jesus the Christ, He is risen. He is in a new season, in a new dispensation of time. Come and see where they laid His body, where His body was before He entered into His new season. As we go through the Open Heavens devotional today, one of the things that I think is quite clear is this that the first day, if you will, of the Lord Jesus Christ, as explained to us through this devotional, lasted 33 and a half years. The first day, which is, if you will, um, the first part of his season one, lasted 33 and a half years, at least while here on earth. Okay? And then at the end of his day, his night came. And this was when he was crucified. And thank God, his night only lasted for three days. His first day lasted for 33 and a half years and then the night of the first day came 
And thank God his night only lasted for three days. And then guess what happened? He rose, just like the angel told us. And by the arising of Jesus, it marked the beginning of a new season. Because guess what? He is now in exalted glory. And that is the second day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, he is making mediations and intercessions for us, even at the right hand of the Father. But there is another season that is coming. And that is when he will return for his saints, for his bride. I pray that you and I, by way of receiving Jesus Christ, because of the sacrifices he paid in season one, which is his death and his crucifixion, I pray that you and I will be found worthy to rapturably reign with Christ, even when he returns for his church that is going to be without blemish and without spot. So I don't know where you are in the season of your life. I don't know where you are in the valley of decision making, but can I encourage you to choose Jesus Christ and begin a new season in righteousness and begin a new season with the Lord. There is no other way to live. Why don't you buy your space and your time in eternity by making a conscious decision to follow Jesus Christ forevermore because he has already paid the price for your sins because of the multitude of his love that he has towards you. God bless you. Thank you so very much for your audience and for your time. It's been an absolute privilege and an honor to do devotion with you this morning. God bless your week and may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.